uploaded a video yesterday, and uh, let's see if anybody has viewed it. What? I'm alone. And she's got... Her boobies are out! Her boobies are out! How is that even monetized? Boobies are out! Everybody, a porn star just commented on my fucking video and I didn't even try. Ha ha ha! I've gotta call my mom! It's finally happening! It's finally happening! Woo! I can't get to the phone right now. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Please leave your message after the tone. To re-record your message... I'm ghosted by my mum. ...at any time. Mum, it's finally happened! A porn star is commenting on my post! You didn't answer the phone and now I look like a fool on YouTube. <laughs> Mom, I've made it! <laughs> what? I've made it! Made it where? A porn star! <laughs> coming in on my YouTube video! Have <laughs> you? Yeah! Wow! I know, a girl finally spoke to me, it's fantastic! <laughs> yeah, guys, your boy's been spotted by a bloody porn star! It's good. It's good. We're living good life. We're g <laughs> I know it's a bot. I know it's a bot. Uh, so that's a great way to start the video and have a bit of clickbait. So let's actually get into the video today where I'm going to be randomly waffling to you about things I've witnessed. Yep, I have witnessed a lot in my small 22 years on this planet, and I want to share that with you, um, in the next video. <laughs> I got you! Yep, this is a, it's a short video today. Uh, just going on the back from my video that I uploaded yesterday, which just, like, you know, triggered the spot to comment on my video, saying I'm alone. So, uh... I thought I'd make humour out of it. Um, yeah, so a video will be coming out tomorrow about my uh, randomly waffling, so that'd be good. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course I've got you a video today. We're uploading often these days. Yeah. And this time I'm not in a dressing gown. And it's a bit more lively than yesterday, isn't it? Because today is a new day. <laughs> Your boy has had a comment from a girl for the first time ever. And it's going to be fantastic because obviously I'm being trolled. But anyway, so getting into today's video is good news. Episode 2. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, you didn't think that was dropping for a while, did you? But nope, today I am dropping episode two of Good News. So let's get right into it and dig up what's happening in the news that's actually good for this year. Woo! Who's more pumped than me on a Monday? I don't know why I'm so pumped. It's a fucking Monday. But hey ho, let's just get on with it. So in the last episode, there's a lot that's happened since then. My room's changed around, obviously, because there's a different angle behind me. And um, let's start off with the world of football. So Liverpool won the league. Ale ole ole. Ale ole ole. But I'm not going to bore you with my celebrations because I've already got the champions top right behind me. So that's fantastic. But no, some good come out of the footballing community. Marcus Rashford turned the government's rules on free school dinners and he got free school dinners for the children. That's fantastic news. But then if you look on the Richter scale of footballers doing good things and bad things, uh, more recently. 
Mason Times, Mason Greenwood, and some other geezer, um, uh, I'll put the name here, is, uh, had some Icelandic models come to their hotel room for a bang. And then got kicked out of the England squad. Why would you risk that honour? Playing for England just to shag some model. You got... You had girlfriends, for God's sake. But, oh, well, that's nothing to do with me. I mean, England people, eh? Hey, England on tour. Right, yeah, but they beat Iceland 1-0 in, like, the uh, 90th minute or so. So, that's good. England's winning on their winning ways. And uh, some of our players are fucking up. But, hey-ho, that's all right. Um, Marcus Rashford has been a very much influence. You know me, I'm a Liverpool fan, and Marcus Rashford is a Man United fan, so I don't get along with him at the most point. When I'm watching him on the TV, I'm like, don't you fucking get anywhere near that goal! But, uh, yeah, he's done a very good job. Very, very good job. And, uh, he deserves all the recognition he's getting. Uh, the same as Raheem Sterling with his, uh, fight against racism. That's very, very good. So... Good things coming from the football community for once. Yes! Up next, we got some positive news on the Randall Ando side of things. I reached 80 subscribers after the video came out of uh, Four British Idiots Eat American Candy. That was the video that came out after the last episode of Good News. And uh, that one is now the most viewed video I've ever done. Um, the last good news episode is, uh, the third most at the moment, but, uh, if we can get that up there, and hopefully this video can top that. We just, we don't know. So, yeah, um, fantastic stuff going on at the moment. I mean, you got me to 80 subscribers, we're trying to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year, or I'm gonna get seven years of bad luck. I mean, I've already had seven years of bad luck, so come on, please don't make it 14 years in a row. Give me some fucking slack, okay? I'm uploading often now, so we need to push to the end. It's September now, the September 14th, and we're so close to the end of the year. My head's still in March, but yeah, we need to... Hit the red button, hit the like button, comment what you want me to do, and I will do it. Well, not everything, because I'm not subjected to peer pressure. But no, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. The series is going to be on full swing. There's a 2020 video coming out soon. And a lot of us, which I announced yesterday on the channel. And you're probably thinking, holy crap, he's uploaded like within twice in one week like what the hell is going on here well i tell you ladies and gentlemen i'm doing okay yes i am i'm doing absolutely fine and that's good news so let's get into the next story shall we which is this story is a heartwarming story this was around before the first episode of good news came out but i've recently taken to learn I'm a bit behind on this. Obviously, some of you might know this. Um, it's about uh, Captain Tar Tom Moore. Uh, he got promoted. He had his 100th birthday. And I've just found out he raised a staggering £30 million for the NHS. <laughs> Nothing but respect for that man. And then I've just read that he was up for a knighthood at uh, Windsor Castle. It's probably already happened. I didn't see this speculate on um, Facebook. Normally this circulates on Facebook, you know? So, um, and obviously I've been away from YouTube for a little bit. So this this could have happened in the last month or so, but I can't believe it. Yes, Sir Tom Moore, say no more. <laughs> say no more. Honestly, what a legend, what a guy. And I think that's where we're going to end this video today because obviously the good news in the world at the moment is quite slim. Um, but I will be scouring the internet and news feeds and everything to find good news for you for episode 3. That's coming up very soon because we need to keep this positivity up. Let's end the year on a high. It's been quite a shit year for everybody. But we're all in this together and we're all going to get this sorted. So please 
hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. And me and you together can end this year on a high. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, take care, look after yourself. If you need anything, hit that message button. See you later.